Behavior is an aspect of human and animal life, and psychologists have devised various theories to explain why we act the way we do. Two significant theories in psychology are operant conditioning and classical conditioning. What is classical conditioning? Classical conditioning is a type of learning that links a neutral stimulus with a response. Imagine a dog who always gets excited when it sees a food bowl. In classical conditioning, a bell could be rung every time the dog is fed. After a while, the dog associates the bell with food, and just ringing the bell makes the dog excited, even if there's no food in sight. In simpler terms, classical conditioning is like training the brain to connect two things that may not naturally be linked. It's about learning to expect something based on previous experiences. How Operant Conditioning Works Operant conditioning, on the other hand, is about associating behavior with consequences. If you get good grades, you might get praise or rewards. If you break a rule, you might face punishment. This process involves reinforcement and punishment to encourage or discourage certain behaviors. In operant conditioning, behaviors are strengthened or weakened by the consequences that follow them. It's a bit like a cause and effect relationship. Do something good, get rewarded, do something bad, face consequences. Key differences. Now that we know what each type of conditioning is, let's highlight some key differences between them. Focus on stimulus and response. Classical involves associating a neutral stimulus with a response. Operant focuses on the relationship between behavior and consequences. Learning process. Classical learning by association. Operant learning by reinforcement or punishment. Voluntary versus involuntary. Classical often involuntary responses. Operant involves voluntary behaviors. Timing of stimulus and response. Classical the stimulus comes before the response. Operant, the consequence comes after the behavior. Real-world examples. Let's look at real-life examples to better understand these concepts. Classical conditioning. Think about how you might feel hungry. Response, when you smell your favorite food. Stimulus. Operant conditioning. Consider how you study hard. Behavior, to get good grades. Reward. Or how you might refrain from texting in class. Behavior, to avoid detention. Punishment. Why does it matter? Understanding these conditioning methods is crucial because they help explain why we behave the way we do. Whether it's training a pet, teaching a new skill, or trying to change our own habits, knowing how classical and operant conditioning work can be a powerful tool. In the world of psychology, classical conditioning associates stimuli with responses, while operant conditioning links behaviors with consequences. These theories although different, help us comprehend the intricate web of behaviors that shape our lives.